everybody welcome to the channel in this video I am going to show you the different types of screws that you use for your computer when you build it okay so if you look at the top right here those two the top black one and the bottom silver one are used for fans those are the second ones are coarse and fine thread. Uh, the coarse thread is for cases and motherboards. The fine thread is for DVD drives, hard drives, and SSDs. The gold is a standoff so the board is not touching the metal. These are your CD-ROM. Set screws. Even though you the the fine thread is interchangeable from what I know uh, use the specified screws that come with it because when I built the machine that you see here I used whatever I have lying in, lying around if I was building it for somebody I wouldn't have done it you have the chassis hand wrist screws both black and silver you have the main board isolation grommet that goes you put the board over the standoff and then you put that on the pad of the board and then you screw the board down and this is made board fixed screw so the reason why I'm showing you this is these coarse thread screws right here which are used to sorry the camera got a little messed up there to hold down these cards now if you can see in there I don't I have a screw on it what you can do and only do this to your own stuff is I'm gonna open this up here is what you can do and I got all this set from Amazon Let me pull it out from the camera there. What you can do is take this, and what you can do is put it. Uh, let me find an empty one. Oh, here it is. And what you can do is put that in there just like that. So what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be putting a better video card in. And I swap parts in and out all the time on these machines. So I want to use the... the hand twist screw to make it easier now um, the, I was going to use this card but I forgot I have the um, IDE adapter set up I have another card which will go in there but um I don't like to have my stuff right on top of each other for heat purposes and air getting around it because what will happen is uh, if electronics are not properly cooled what will happen is this will get hot and then it will start going out you can pop capacitors and then you have to buy all new parts and you really don't want to do that so what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be using the PCI slot right above the uh, wireless card So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to grab that card, and I totally forgot that I set this computer up a different way. And here it is. So uh, 
I was well, wasn't planning on talking about graphics cards, but let's talk about graphics cards here. So this is a PCI. This is a PCI Express. You could tell because it has one slot and it has that little like hook shape with a flat piece. That's how you can tell it's PCI Express. This is PCI because it uses both the slots on the board. So, and the reason I'm doing this video and showing you how to do this is for another video I'm going to do something with Linux. Well, I tried to install Linux on this and it looked like somebody was grabbing the image and pulling it to the right. So if I'm going to be using Linux, I have to have a card in there. And I figured this would be the perfect time to do this sort of video. So without further ado, let's install the card. Now, it doesn't matter about the heatsink because like this graphics card has a fan on there. I could actually take that off, get a heatsink same size and put it on there and use the fan for something else. If I wanted to. But I have no need to do that. So I am going to install this card and I'll show you in real world spec here what I'm doing. If you could see. Oh, got caught on something. Okay. There we go. Okay. There we go. There we go. Part of the problem is the case is not is a little bent up because I've used this so ma many times. But that's okay. So as you can see the graphics card is really close to the uh heat sink but with those case fans it'll push cold air in there and you won't have an issue so I'm going to be taking this screw right here and I'm gonna just tighten it down just like that and as you can see the card is not going to go anywhere so now if I have to get that card out in a hurry I can so this is why it's good to have these screw sets plus if you're building a computer and you find bent standoffs for some if you're building a computer for somebody and you find bent standoffs you could take those out and put these in and you'll be okay so Anyway, that is it for this video. Please comment, like, and subscribe, and click that bell for more notifications.